I just wish I knew what happened to him. You know, I mean, it would give me some peace. Lorenzo put a head out on Frank when he found out he snitched. You betrayed me. You manipulated me. Love you. I love you too. I fucking hate you. What's up, Power Fans and YouTube? It's your boy Nino, and I'm back with another Power video. Now, in this video, I'll be talking about the Tahara family, Lorenzo's death, and the consequences. Tariq finding out Lauren is still alive and how it will change everything and the key happenings in episode 5. And of course, if you are new to my channel, you are welcome. Kindly hit the subscribe button, like, share, leave your thoughts in the comment section. If you have already subscribed, thanks for the support. Now, let's get straight into the topics. Now, I'm going to start with a question. Do you think Monet should have forgiven Lorenzo? If you want to just oppose the fact that she lied to everyone about Zeke and she was forgiven, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. So to begin with, Evelyn doesn't trust Monet as much as Monet doesn't trust Evelyn. In my last video, I stated that Monet would give Lorenzo out. I thought she would give him to Norma considering how dangerous she is and the fact that she's looking for Mekes killer. But then again, Monet did what I expected by selling her husband to a potential enemy to save her from karma. I also stated that the best option for Lorenzo is to confess to Monet himself. Now, let me know if you think his confession shortened his life rather. We all know he was going to die, but let me know if you think the confession made his death quicker. Now, Monet decided to move to Evelyn with the information that Lorenzo killed Frank when we all know who did that shit. Unexpectedly for Monet, Evelyn didn't seem interested in taking any actions against Lorenzo for the fear that it could blow back on her and her kids. I can't risk losing one of them for the sake of revenge. Monet left disappointed but clearly will not let this slide. Now, if Evelyn hears the death of Lorenzo, she's going to feel Monet equally moved to one of her kids. Now, Monet actually moved to Goro and her opening was when he said he would slash the throat of whoever killed his father. If I had the chance, I'd slit the throat of the motherfucker who killed my father. At this point, Monet felt the need to sell Lorenzo to him and she did. She wasn't shown telling him, but one thing you should know about the power writers when it comes to Monet having an affiliation to a huge murder is that they leave her involvement blind to us. Just like they did with Carrie, until now we don't know if she strangled her to death or forced her to hang herself. But whatever may be the case with Carrie, Monet has a hand in it. Now, for Monet's plan to work, she has to sack Lorenzo from the house because someone can only get Lorenzo if he's all alone out there without any of his children around him. That is why Monet made sure that they were all on site before everything went down. And Lorenzo had only the bar to go to at the moment. Sad part is he was a bit drunk before he got killed. Now, I have a feeling Goro will not last and Evelyn might also end up losing her son. Why do I say so? This is what I think. Lorenzo's children, especially Drew and Diana, will not rest until they find out who killed their father. Now, since Drew was there for him to get rid of the CIA's phone, he is potentially Drew's partner now aside their sexual affiliations. Now, remember in one of my videos where I talk about Drew and Goro, I stated that mixing pleasure with business is a bad idea for these two people. Now, if Drew is still fighting to get whoever killed their father, Monet has another card to play or risks being caught by her children. It will be in Monet's best interest to tell Drew Godo killed Lorenzo so that he won't snitch on her to Drew as the person who told him that Lorenzo killed Frank. If Monet is fast to incite Drew against Godo, he will catch a bullet before he gets to snitch on Monet that she was the one who gave him the information. Now, it will all depend on how Drew is going to execute this. Drew may get him after they are done with possibly their last pleasure and if Drew doesn't shoot Godo at once and he allows him to talk, he will possibly tell Drew that his mother was the one who gave him the the information about Lorenzo killing their father. He will eventually catch the bullet though, but Monet will have her children to deal with. Now, talking about her children, I think Kane will be quick to figure out that his mother set their father up to be killed. He might end up playing with her mind just like he did with Lorenzo. But question is, will Kane have his mother in his pocket again to be the one in charge? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. But I don't think Kane will have Monet in his pocket not long enough. Now, let's talk about Diana. Now, if you study one thing about Diana, she has been wanting to get out of the family business for a long time. The more she wants to stay away, the more she gets dragged back in. Now, in this fifth episode, we saw Lorenzo giving her the freedom to focus on her studies and not move weight again. Let's pull the plug. You're done. I'm going to work something out with Kane to go sell somewhere else. You're going to be the first person in this family to get a college degree, and I don't want you focusing on anything Seriously? 
This came as a relief to Diana to focus on campus life without thinking of moving drugs there. But I think this freedom will be a short one for Diana since her father is dead now. What does this mean to her? She has to continue to hustle and sell drugs on campus before Monique decides not to pay her fees. And I think the death of Lorenzo will leave Diana no choice than to fall back into the drug business in order to survive her education. Because at this juncture, Monet might not pay so much attention to her school since she will be wrapped around with Zeke's death and the aftermath. Now moving on to Sax, Jenny and Lauren. In one of my recent videos, I mentioned that what Jenny is doing was going to make Sax tell her right to discover that Lauren is alive. And I also stated that Sax might start looking out for himself the moment he finds out that Jenny lied about Lauren. Now, Sax just spilled one secret that is going to change the whole WeSec move for Jenny. You know, she can't legally keep you here. Oh I saw how he reacted when you died. Tariq didn't try to kill you. He loved you. This means that anything Jenny is doing is off the books and Lauren is in an illegal witch sack. Now, I think this will put some pressure on Jenny to succumb to some of Lauren's demand moving forward. And since it was illegal for Jenny to keep Lauren there, one can also compare this action to kidnapping for safety. Now, Tariq has found out that Lauren is alive. First question I want to ask is how did Lauren finally got access to phone and texting Tariq for a meetup? Could this be another plot from Jenny? If Lauren is telling Tariq she's with the feds all this while, why would they allow her out to meet him now if it isn't a trap? Let me know in the comment section if anyone catches the move by Lauren showing up to Tariq. Now, here is what I think. Maybe Lauren wants to be sure that Tariq truly has nothing to do with the plot to kill her. So if she moves to him and asks him not to tell them that she is still alive and indeed Tariq was part, then her survival is going to keep them on edge and they may want to find a way of attempting again to avoid her testifying. And once they know Lauren is still alive, then it means Tariq didn't really have Lauren's safety as priority in the first place. This will then make them conclude that Tariq was indeed part of the plot to kill Lauren. Now, this whole thing could be a way Jenny is trying to stir water to catch fish, but let me know what you also think in the comment section with regards to Tariq knowing that Lauren is still alive. Now, let me ask you, what would you do if you were Tariq? Would you keep this secret and still work with Ify and Braden? I think this test is going to be the hardest for Tariq so far. Working with people you can't trust, people you call family, and people you think are there for you. This friendship is going to crash and crash badly. Only that Tariq will have to be mentally strong to keep his composure. Else, the slightest mistake from him, Lauren's life will be in more danger than it was in the beginning. Now, I know the code that says a snitch is always a snitch. A rat will always be a rat. And we all know how rats end. But do you think every snitch always end up dead? Now, if not all rats end up dead, then I think Lauren will still have some lifespan in the show. But if Power is staying loyal to the rat code, then I guess Lauren will eventually go because she is a witness against Ify, Braden, and Kane. If this was just with Ify and Braden, we understand that she isn't in much danger like Kane and the Tahares. After what they did to their own Uncle Frank because he was a rat, you can imagine how quick Kane will try his possible best to off Lauren ASAP. Now, let me touch quickly on Blanca's CI. In one of my previous videos, I did stated that Blanca is good at her job but always a step back in getting full evidence to nail a case. The same way she was lit in case of Mecca, she almost got access to one thing that can send the Tahares to jail. Maybe Lorenzo would have still been alive a little longer because she would have arrested him after seeing evidence of his face at the crime scene. Even if he would die, he would have still lived a little longer, but it is what it is. And if Drew and Godo didn't get this phone earlier, Braden and Lorenzo will be smiling at jail time by now. With that being said, I think we still have another problem developing when it comes to Braden. Kiki here just figured out that he's up to some crypto things. And we all know Kiki is smart and I bet she will start snoozing after this encounter with Tariq and Ife based on what she saw on Braden's phone. Now, in the earlier episode that Kiki was introduced, she said to Braden that money makes her happy. You give me money, I'll show you happiness. Now, from what she has found out, Will she get greedy by taking money from Braden based on what she has seen? Or she will tell Lucas about his nephew? Let me know what you think in the comment section about Kiki. But I think she will go greedy. And if her principle of loving money is anything to go by, she might find herself in the business soon. Now, let me know what you think so far. Let me know your theories in the comment section with regards to the mid season episode. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like, share, leave your thoughts in the comment section. 
Catch you in my next video. It's your boy Nino. Thanks for watching.